Hi there, thanks for joining El Nazuga 360. Today I want to show you a couple of poses addressing your thoracic spine, the upper chest of the body. And this sequence is great before bed as it helps to increase the capacity for your lungs and you can have a better and more relaxed sleep. So when you're ready, just get on your mat and we'll start together. Now, let's open your arms to the side, bend your elbows like a cactus and gently start to bring your arms all the way toward the back as much as you can. With your exhale, you're gonna bring them to the front and you're rounding the upper chest. So we're gonna do this together. Inhale back, exhale to the front and bring the chin to your chest. Inhale back and maybe even lean a little bit backward, opening your chest. Exhale, rounding your back. Inhale again back, exhale rounding. Inhale back and exhale rounding. Inhale again back and exhale rounding. Now let's do the twist. Place your left hand on your right kneecap, right hand behind yourself. And remember you're twisting from your navel. First thing is navel and then the shoulder. So gently you're going to open your chest, keep your chin parallel to the floor and breathe in and breathe out. We're gonna do this couple of times together. Reach your arms all the way up. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, twist to the right. Let's do this one more time. Up and exhale, twist to the left. Great job. Now, if you have a towel if, or a strap or yoga strap, just grab it. One more movement together, which we can do it easily with a towel or even shirt if you don't have a strap. So just grab your towel, you know, open it as much as you can. However, you, you want this uh, the strap or your towel to not to be too loose or not to be too tight. Inhale, reach up, exhale all the way back. So this is affecting your shoulders, but it's partially also working on the upper trapezius muscles. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's do this again, you know, five or six rounds at least. Inhale up, exhale down. Last time, inhale up and exhale down. Great. Now put your towel or your strap on the side. Let's get on your, uh, all. we call this tabletop. So coming on all fours, shoulders above your wrists, hips above your knees. Start with your cat cow. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, rounding your back. Inhale again, open your chest. Pull the belly in. Exhale, rounding your back. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale again, and exhale. And one more time, inhale, open your chest, and exhale, rounding your back. Now let's walk your hands a little bit forward. So you're gonna weave your left arm all the way underneath your right armpit and twisting from the upper body, put your head and left shoulder on the floor, and now see if you can open your right arm all the way up. So this is a great stretch for the thoracic spine. So you're Twisting from the rib cage. Now place your hand back. Let's come back up. Let's do the, the other side. So again, first putting your shoulder and your head on the floor. And then when you're ready, you're going to extend your left arm behind yourself. If this is too much, I would recommend just to stay here. Keep your left arm on the floor and just twist with the upper spine. Breathe in and breathe out. Great. And then coming back. And then from here, let's sit back to your child pose. So you're sitting back all the way on your child pose. Huh? Bend your elbows and bring your forearms in front of your body like this. Press your uh, palms and your forearms to the floor. Shoulders above your elbows. Now starting again, another type of a cat cow. This is really affecting the thoracic spine, the upper body. So inhale, open your chest. Exhale, rounding your back, bring the chin to your chest. Inhale again, so your, your focus is on the thoracic spine. Exhale, rounding your back. Inhale again, exhale. 
Inhale again. Exhale. Last time. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, rounding it back. Great job. And then from here, let's come back one more time to your tabletop and all the way come to your bellies on your mat. Again, the thoracic is fine. Open your arms to the sides and then bend your elbows. Bring them um, about one foot away from your body and your only keep your fingertips on the floor like this. So it's uh, starting with lifting the upper chest. Inhale again here. Exhale lower. Inhale again. This is like a cobra pose or bhujangasana, but it's a little bit different. Exhale lower. One more time. Inhale coming up. And exhale lower. Now place your hands next to your ribcage. This is uh, the traditional or classical uh, bhujangasana or cobra pose. Press to your hands. Inhale again. Exhale lower. Inhale again. Exhale lower. Last time. Inhale again. And let's exhale lower. Now press to your hands on your knees. Let's come all the way back to your child's pose. Maybe put your forehead on the floor. Breathe in and breathe out. And today's sequence is over. So I hope that you find it beneficial and you do it every night. I mean, even if you don't do it every night, you still see the benefit. And stay tuned for my next video, which will be more on the mobility around the hips and groin areas. Thanks for joining. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share my videos with your friends and family. And to anyone who likes to increase mobility in their body. Thanks. Namaste.